when the food is contaminated with disease causing microorganisms then the people become sick if the contamination is detected in international commerce then the rejections will occur or recall from the customers level or consumer level also will take place authorities regulatory authorities will take stringent actions on the food facility all the food handlers should know how their hygiene cleanliness will prevent the contamination of disease causing microorganisms into the food during processing or the food which they produce a recent review of 81 food borne illness outbreaks that infected almost 1500 people found that over 90% of the outbreaks involved food workers who were ill prior to or at the time of the outbreak personal health and hygiene will play a crucial role to prevent contamination of food by harmful microorganisms today's our topic is control of food handlers health hygiene in a food industry by personal health and hygiene in this video we will discuss about four modules first one is pathogen transmission then second step is health management third one is personal and fourth one is record keeping now let us start the video hi i am anmad krishna you are watching anmad krishna food tech channel what is contagious infectious epidemic pandemic endemic and infodemic yes contagious means by direct hand contact if the person comes from the toilets if the person uses toilets not properly sanitize his hands by direct contact of his hands the disease organisms can transmit from one person to another person that is contagious diseases what about infectious diseases yes infectious diseases means through the environment air or coughing or sneezing the droplets will spread the infections so that is called infectious diseases what is epidemic diseases epidemic means the proliferation of contamination or disease causing organisms in a rapid that is called epidemic and pandemic the diseases which can spread across the continents is called pandemic during covid time we hear one more word also infodemic what is infodemic yes by watching irrelevant data in social media about any kind of diseases people will become sick or people will become panic deep distress then people will die that is called infodemic now the first element pathogen transmission yes food workers can transmit disease causing organisms through their bodies or clothes and personal items during the operations any person having an illness or open wounds or cuts can be excluded from food processing areas or any other abnormal sources of microbial contamination must be excluded from food handling activities common symptoms of such contamination are diarrhea or vomiting a fever jaundice and other open sores it is very difficult to detect or judge the employee's health condition until unless they come forward and inform to the supervisors or qa team yes so we have to educate the employees if they are having illness symptoms and they should communicate to the concerned supervisors or concerned qc team so we have to make them aware about our policies and if they are suffering with any communicable diseases what will happen what is the consequences so how it will contaminate the pathogenic bacteria from one person to another person and the entire factory will become uh, contaminated or will will prone to the susceptible for sick or ill and and by the same time they will also transmit the disease causing organisms to the food product and finally the rejections will occur and the people who are working in the industry also will become sick 
so the establishments health management measures they should educate the workers they should educate the supervisors they should educate the qcs also so they can voluntarily come forward and inform to the management if they are suffering with communicable diseases we have to make out a list of diseases which are epidemic and make the workers should aware of those things based on the regulatory requirements we have to comply those things and another thing is the health management system the people who come in join in food industry should be medically examined and should be medically examined and fit to handle in food products they are free from contagious diseases they are free from open wounds as per the national standards fssai yearly once the employees or food handlers can be examined for all parameters including stools blood test and skin condition if they are having any skin diseases etc if they are fit to handle the food then only allowed so the food food facility should maintain the track record of each and every individual who works inside the food facility so health card system should be implemented and for every absence or for every absence also we have to examine them there should be a questionnaire the establishment should develop a health questionnaire to determine the whether the individuals having any contagious diseases in the past or present or do their family members are healthy or anyone is uh, contaminated or infected with typhoid or salmonella or some other uh, communicable diseases also by by asking the questionnaires we have to uh, design the uh, questions to determine whether the employees are ill or not their family members or do they have any history of uh, contagious diseases in the past also we have to examine that these are all we have to take in the health management system and administration of vaccination that's that is also there we have to administer the enteric vaccines enteric vaccines means like a typhoid vaccine to control against typhoid and there are also vaccines also there and hepatitis a virus also vaccine is also there but not not virus vaccine is not available so these are some of the vaccines so the food worker who are working in food industry should be administered vaccines as and when depends upon the frequency or when the pandemic or epidemic spreads the area then irrespective of the frequency the food facilities should administer the vaccination like covid so if visitors or contractors our suppliers must be screened by using health questionnaire as and when they enters into the food facility the site must ensure that regular visitors contractors such as external company staff or pest control providers are included where questionnaires are used these must be reviewed by a competent person and the most important thing is the food handlers should avoid hand habits bad hand habits like scratching nose running finger through hair rubbing eyes ears and mouth scratching beard scratching parts of bodies etc that are person potentially hazardous when associated with handling food or food products now the third step is personal hygiene all employees in areas where food is handled stored or processed must practice measures that ensure food is not contaminated with harmful bacteria virus or foreign material workers must also maintain personal cleanliness of themselves and their clothing remove jewelry and wear proper hair coverings they must wash or sanitize their hands properly at proper times and use clean gloves appropriately workers in processing areas must also prevent contamination of food from perspiration cosmetics and chemicals applied to the skin further eating drinking and smoking must be confined to appropriate non food production areas in personal hygiene personal cleanliness of food employee also will play a, a prominent role for controlling the diseases if the employee or food handler not properly take bath regularly then his body will get bad smell how this bad smell will come 
due to the microbial growth the bacterial growth the bad smell the body emits the bad smell yes if the personal cleanliness has not been followed properly the bacteria or virus can transmit into the food as a healthy body regularly every day they will release 10 million cells to the atmosphere in that 10 million cells 10 percent contains bacteria in the 10 percent of the bacteria maybe the pathogen harmful bacteria might be there so that is why personal hygiene is very important the surface of the skin the epidermis is not favorable place for bacterial growth because it is often dry salty and acidic most microorganisms locate in sweat glands and hair follicles these places provide moist nutritious environment for bacterial growth so personal cleanliness prevents skin infections that could contaminate food with bacteria that transmit serious food safety problems personal hygiene hair coverings harmful bacteria can be found on human hair any hair that touches food or food contact surfaces can carry bacterial contamination and no one wants to find someone's hair in their food employees who work in food processing area must wear hair coverings or restraints the type of hair covering can vary depending upon type of works individuals with excessive hair body hair may need to wear protective sleeves or other covering to prevent food contamination and personal items like jewelry rings earrings should not be weared inside the facility so to prevent food safety issues employees should ideally remove all unsecured jewelry other objects that could fall into the food and personal care products also should be avoided the workers who are working in food industry such as cosmetics hand lotions or creams have the potential to cause contamination when workers who handle food use the products now the last element is record keeping the procedures for daily monitoring conditions in the checklist are known as sanitary control procedures the checks should include measures for monitoring workers health and hygiene particularly before beginning to handle food in case conditions change daily more checks can be made during the work day particularly after breaks that's all about the video if you like the video please click the like button and subscribe my channel share it to your community thank you bye bye